Hey everyone, welcome to another Ask Andrew tutorial. Another frequently asked question that I get is about the Biologique Recherche cryo sticks, especially now that we are at home. Uh, a lot of people are inquiring about them, how to use them, when to use them in your routine. So I thought I'd take a few minutes and show you how I love to use them. I keep them in my freezer every day. I do not take them out. I want them to be as cold as they can possibly be for my skin. The colder, the better for your skin. These are incredible. They provide a cooling, soothing, anti-inflammatory effect and really just help to calm the skin down as well as um, depending on how you use them can provide a nice lymphatic drainage effect as well. So I'm going to show you how I like to use them. You can take them out of the case can see they're kind of frosty from the freezer. I have a little bit of um, Biomagic mixed with VIPO2 on right now and some VIPO2 around my eyes. My skin was feeling um, just a tad bit dehydrated and stressed, but I felt like my pores were um, looking a little large today, so that's why I chose the two masks that I did and um, I am gonna show you how I love to use them with the masks. You can also use these um, with your cleanser. The Milky Cleanser gives a great slip to the skin and the Creamy Cleanser will actually hold the cold very nicely like a mask will as well. So you can use it with that. Um, you can use these with the eye patches. You can use them with the Mask Pigum 400 as well. Or you can even use them as a last step um, when your moisturizer is on the skin because it'll be nice and soft and supple and glide very nicely. So um, you just wanna start at the bottom and work your way out. You can glide or you can do a little pumping, pressing motions, which will give you more lymphatic drainage. And if you do that, you wanna go behind your ears and also go down the neck to drain the lymph system. Under here, a lot of lymph gets congested, so a little pumping, okay, and then pump down. And then you can always go down to drain. If you got headaches, hold them on your temples for about 30 seconds, just gently moving them around. It feels so nice. Around the eyes, you can also use little pumping movements and go all the way around. There's really no right or wrong way to use these tools. Do whatever feels natural to you, whatever feels right to you. This is just a nice, easy way of using them and going over the masks, especially VIPO2 or uh, the Beyond Sensible line. Very cooling, soothing, anti-inflammatory, so they pair extremely well with the cryo sticks. If you want to do an eye massage, you can take the other side here, hold up and take the flat side and do your pressing motions all the way around. Great in the morning if you wake up with puffiness. Don't forget the other side if you're going to do that. Always mimic what you're doing on each side. You can take the flat parts and drain all the way down. And then I also like to just hold over my eyes if you get puffiness or um, eye bags, dark circles, great to just revive and wake up the eye area a little bit. 
hold it there for about 10 to 15 seconds and then remove. You can also massage a little bit more too. So these are extremely versatile. You can take both on each side of your face, do upward motions, especially if you wanna lift. Think of these as an extension of your hand, basically. And when you're doing this, let the cryo sticks do the work. Don't push too hard into the skin. Don't use too much pressure. The stainless steel globes are enough pressure on the skin as is, so you don't need to press too hard. So that's how I like to use the cryo sticks over my mask. Um, like I said before in the video, you can use it with your cleanser, a mask, a sheet mask, eye patches, or even as a last step um, in your routine. Make sure to keep them in the freezer constantly so they're always ready to go for you. I hope you enjoyed my cryostick tutorial. Uh, please comment below on things that you want to see from my Ask Andrew series. These videos are all for you guys and I'm trying to answer as many frequently asked questions as I can for you so you can always refer back to these. Um, let me know how you use your cryo sticks and how you like them. If you need to order your cryo sticks, you can email me directly and I'm happy to help you out. I'll talk to you guys soon.